Hi, welcome to my channel where I discuss all things metal and today I'm going to be reviewing the performance of Lord of the Lost at HRH Goth Leeds and HRH Goth London. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So Lord of the Lost, this was one of the first performances I've seen since lockdown and I cannot tell you enough, they did not disappoint. The boys were an absolute form. Everybody was working like a well-oiled machine. It was as if they'd never had a break. The first performance was in London and the second performance is in Leeds. And I'm not joking, each night the boys were absolutely informed. I have to say though, I think Leeds might have been better than London. There was just a different energy in the crowd. Everybody was amazing, straight up. Naza, you know I love you and your lighting was fabulous. Pink hues with gorgeous blues and cathedral lighting. Absolutely perfect, you set the atmosphere well. You know I love you, you did a great job. Now onto the boys themselves. Wow, it's like Chris Harms has never had a break. He's still as fiery as always. His performances of the new um, songs from Judas, you know, his, the new Judas album were amazing. Um, some of the fantastic songs that stood out for me were um, Heartbeat of the Devil, Viva Vendetta, For They Know Not What They Do and Priest. The guy, it's like he's never had a break. It's like Corona never happened. It, I, I feel like I just seen him just a few months ago on stage in Hamburg. He was absolutely fabulous. He got up, he was climbing um, on frames. He was interacting with the audience. At one point he climbed over my head and I was just like, don't fall. But he was so energetic, so charismatic. The whole new look for Judas was fantastic. So 10 out of 10 performance from Chris Harms, I have to say. The next guys we'll talk about are Klaas, the bass player, and P, the lead guitarist. And as always, those two were just bouncing off each other fantastically. They were interacting, they were dancing. So if you are a Lord of the Lost fan, you'll know that when they do La Bomba, they absolutely get into it and they're dancing with each other. And they did just that. And again, it was like there had been no break in their performances. They were absolutely a well-oiled machine. It was amazing. I loved it. And guys, if you're listening to this class, you've still got that moody, fantastic energy that we love you for. And P, your frenetic energy, I'm sure is one day going to get you a job interview and job offer from Ghost. So anyway, let's now talk about the drummers. Wow, Jared. <laughs> Need we talk about Jared? He's fabulous. He always is fabulous. And he always brings it 110% for every performance. And I have, I always say I have to say, but I have to say that's just the truth. When they did Priest, my God, they did an entry and the drumming, Nick and Jared were like one being drumming in the same motion and my jaw was on the floor and I just, I felt it in my heart. If you've been going through this corona and you've not been seeing any performances, seeing this for the first time, I, I was almost moved to tears. I was like, my God, we're back. We're seeing live shows. And the boys' energy was amazing and I love... I love watching Nick, you know I'm a Nick fan and watching him drum like Animal from the Muppets like high on Red Bull and Demented was just a joy. I loved it. I was like standing there in the audience screaming and do you know what the best part was about this performance? Apart from the guys, because the guys were amazing as they always are, was the audience itself. There were so many Lord of the Lost fans in there. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it felt like people had only come to watch Lord of the Lost. I met so many Lord of the Lost fans. So many people were so friendly. We all bonded and we're all like, this is the first time that we're all going to hear Judas live. And the enthusiasm was just infectious throughout the crowd. I don't know if infectious was the right word to use considering the times that we're living in. But it was, um, it was fabulous, it was amazing. And I, I, I went to both nights, I was so enthusiastic, I was so dedicated and it was worth it, it was worth the effort. It was not like you saw the same show twice, they brought a different energy to each night. Each night was amazing in itself as a standalone show but each night was a different energy and if I had to be the judge, I would say Leeds was the better night. My God, Chris climbing across the, the stage, hanging over like some monkey, giving that intense energy when he did was just amazing. So yeah, I'm probably rambling at this point, but you know they're one of my favorite bands, so you're probably expecting this. Um, boys, if you're listening, if you see this video by any small chance, it was amazing. It was an absolutely fantastic show. You nailed it. You came back stronger than ever before. And I think I'm going to actually make a longer video that shares more footage that I took that night just as a treat to the fans because I feel like it would be wrong to keep that to myself. It was such a fabulous performance. Love, 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 guys. 
I think I've been too effusive so far, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. So if you enjoyed this and you want to see the longer footage, I will put a link to that in the comments. Uh, let me know, were you there that night? Did I see you? Did I meet you? Were you one of the people I was crying with in the front audience row? Let me know. But until next time, until there are more shows, you stay classy.